We'll start out by knocking this pin out with a punch. Now we'll pull the gear off and I think I might be able to get this one by hand. Yep, it's a, um, I don't want to say cheap, <laughs> but uh, usually you have to press them off. I have to take a different one off. Um, I have to take a steel gear off of another distributor then I'll press that one on this one. The next one will be more difficult than, the, than that one. Hey, so sorry I didn't film any of the removal of that gear the steel gear from the other distributor but I have this one I can use as a model I can show you what I did I'm not going to remove this one because I can't drive this roll pin out um, it's just too corroded all right so I used a slide hammer and what I had to do just get it on the gear then I had that my wife uh, use a slide hammer um, and it moved probably an eighth of an inch every time uh, she slid the hammer so it wasn't too bad Another thing you could do if you have a gear puller, this I tried to use this gear puller. It, this one's wonky, but a good gear puller ought to pull a distributor gear off. And what I did for installing the gear, hang tight. Deep well sockets. Uh, they need to be pretty deep. I have some three inch drive deep wells and they did not work. Uh, so this is a half inch. Sorry, that's a, this is a half inch drive. Just put it over. You can use a hammer. I was able to just kind of tap it till I got it lined up. Once it lined up, that's when things got difficult. Uh, but I will show you on this other distributor real quick in a moment. One more second. All right, here we go. We've got the other distributor. This one, I've already lined up the hole. I just need to get the roll pin and drive it through. Here, maybe I can show you that it's lined up already. This one is much easier because, I don't know if it's focusing, I have no clue, because um, it's just looser and it was pre-drilled. The other gear I was putting on, <coughs> excuse me, was not. I had to drill it and I did a bad job. That's why I had so many issues. Sorry, let me step back. That's why I had so many issues uh, aligning that dad gum roll pin. But we finally got it. That distributor is now in the car. It works. Hopefully, it doesn't have to come out for a very long time. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to drive this roll pin in real quick. All right, we got the old roll pin. We'll go ahead and drive it home. Come on now. You know what? Let's go wild. One more. And that's that. So this one's going to go back to O'Reilly's. Uh, this is a Spectra brand. It's a lifetime warranty. But I took the distributor out. Oh yeah, sorry. And that's how you drive in a roll pin. So, uh, sit on the nasty floor. Okay. So I took this distributor out. Um, when I was removing the intake on my car, I never, when I take the distributor out, I never spin it. Because I don't, I always want, I'm lazy and I want to try to put the distributor in as close to uh, where it was earlier. I don't know if that made sense. That way I don't have to time it too much. Um, but this time, for whatever reason, I spun it and it got real bindy right here. And then it would spin, but then it gets bindy again. So uh, I was scared of it, didn't have a choice but to put it back in, and then I remembered I got a lifetime warranty on this bad boy. So all I had to do is get the new one, 
press the or not press just pull that gear off and then take the steely gear off of the other one do the swap and now I can take this bad boy back and get my money back so anyways that's how you remove a gear from a distributor and put it back on so I'm in a bit of a dilemma I got the hole lined up with the hole in the, on the distributor shaft. I uh, thought it was close enough, but it, the roll pin won't go all the way through. So what I want to do, this is a 1 8 uh, inch uh, punch. It goes in most of the way, but it won't go in the rest of the way. So what I want to do is I want to bevel the edge, and then I should be able to drive it through, and then uh, hopefully correct, just get that little thousandth of an inch or whatever I need.